Hello everyone, welcome to Beauty in the Garden. I'm T. So let's go ahead and talk about this garden. Um, I went ahead and cleaned it, uh, this particular area up. It was just so much uh, decay over here. So it was starting to stink, you guys, the, from the cabbage leaves and the broccoli leaves and things like that, mushing down. So I went ahead and took care of this. So right here, we still have our beautiful um, red Russian kale. Um, I see, I see, I still have a little bit more to remove. It's still kind of mushy here. I gotta get this out of here. Um, and and uh, this will help uh, encourage the plants to be stronger. Um, but we did get a good bit of mush going on and I took those all up as far as this as well. You kind of can see how much I had to went ahead and removed. And the center was nice and strong. The hookah rub back here did amazing. It handled that cold like a champ. Uh, here is a flat Dutch here and another flat Dutch cabbage. Um, I took all the outer leaves off um, because of the, all the uh, decay that was going on. Um, I did have all these covered um, during the arctic freeze or whatever they wanted to call the storm they even put a name to it i don't know exactly what the name was but uh we look pretty good over here so this is a flat dutch right here it's a beautiful cabbage i'm really happy about that um the peas right here survived uh, they were covered really well i actually covered them with two layers of plastic and uh this bed here was covered twice um i put over here uh, two layers of plastic and some screen and that really protected these plants okay these are the leaks down here y'all look at my bed look at that i'm gonna have to take all this up not right now <laughs> but i will be taking it up right here is another flat dutch cabbage it's a beautiful cabbage this is a massive head you guys um this is a big headed cabbage um, and it's doing really well. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I did take off a great deal of its leaves and uh, I'm just happy that it's, it's in there halfly tucked in, okay? Uh, down here is another two flat dutches um, and it's doing really good. Uh, all the stuff that I removed, you guys, is right here. This is a lot, this is a lot. Um, they were weak, limp. Uh, so I took them all off and cleaned up. This is a lot of it that is right here. Uh, I did have here um, the um, giant red mustard and it just turned to mush, you guys. Look at that. Just turned to mush. I do have to clean up a little bit of this hookah right here. Right here is a bleeding heart. This is a perennial. It'll come back every year. It's right here. And then down here, um, these uh, red Russian uh, really took a hit, but they're still there. That's all that matters, okay? It's still there. That's all that matters. I do have to do a little bit of weeding uh, in the beds, and I am going to top off all my beds with some compost. Here in the main garden, um, nothing in here survived. The new cabbages that I planted, they just, what you see, they're, they're gone. Uh, but that's okay. Right here is some chicken. Uh, Job's organic. I'm going to stir into this bed. I have two um, garlic right here, and there goes the other one. They're still trying to hold on. The other uh, four um, perished in that in that weather. Um, but I'm just going to prepare this bed for the spring. As we go over here, I did the same thing with this bed to this bed I double plastic and I covered it with screen and everything in here survived so this right here is a jewel uh, cabbage head right here and then down here was the cabbage head that I harvest and now you can see a little baby cabbage heads are all over this little one right here so keep down your cabbage once you harvest it you'll get little mini ones okay so that's perfect and here is a, that's a red jewel. And then this one right here is a uh, red acre. This is a red acre. Nope, this is a red jewel as well. This is a red jewel, sorry you guys, this is a red jewel. And then here's a golden acre. This is a golden acre, which is almost ready you guys. That head is 
card um it's, it's 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 about ready to go ahead and come on out okay and then over here i put in some job's organic over here which you guys can see i put in some job's organic inside of the a grow bag the bok choy is dyed and um, i'm gonna go ahead and fertilize these and same thing with that one down here is the broccoli i went ahead and removed all the leaves which you could tell is very open now i cleaned all of it up and uh, we have broccoli head here here and here um so these are all of my shoots and you can see more shoots coming in right here and back there oh i mean it's a ton you guys look at that Look at all those heads coming on. Okay, so that's uh, broccoli is coming back great. Here's another one here. Look how big this shoot is. Look at the big, this shoot. Can you see that big that shoot is? And this is another broccoli head, some more coming on. See how it's scabbed up? Nice and healed over and no squishy um, going on. So the same thing over here, I double plastic everything right here. Um, but I didn't get a chance to double plastic everything else. I ran out of plastic. Um, over here, um, new shoots, okay, new shoots all over the place. This is actually about to open up, so I'm going to go ahead and take this little piece off. Can you see that? It's kind of opening up, so I will be taking that one off, okay? Yeah. Down there is some scarlet kale right here and there, too. Okay, that's what's going on here. I still need to clean this up, it's not much. I mean, so these two pots right here are some giant red mustards. I need to clean these two little pots up and probably pop them in the garden somewhere, okay? So I went ahead and put all of the leaves that I took off out of the main garden and out of this side garden and I put it over here in a compost. I'm gonna be composting all of this, okay? So the... Right here and here, these four babies right here are my Morris collars. I'm glad I harvest my Morris collars for the holiday and they were delicious and uh, they're doing really well. Um, I see I have a little clean up, just clean up stuff like this so that the uh, slugs and snails won't uh, come over and start gnawing on your plant. I planted right here a scarlet kale and another one here and another one there. Over here is the mum. I need to just cut it back and uh, clean it all up. What you see, the, the floor of the garden bed is nice and clean. Um, over here was all the broccoli. Um, they were just mush, guys. Complete mush. Let me see if I can find you guys a piece of it. Uh, give you guys an idea. Let's see. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Like, it turned to absolute, like, mush, you guys. Let's see. Uh, it's not in this pile. It's over here. But all the tot soy died. The tot soy that I planted in the previous video, all the that I planted up front, they uh, died. And uh, the broccoli had died. So this area is nice and cleaned out, which is okay. We're going to be planting up some more goodies. Um, I will be cleaning up all of this right here. I'm going to strip all this off. This is the bunch of onions. I started and I didn't finish quite just yet. Um, here is a, another golden acre right here. And then this one right here got burnt. You can kind of see it. It's damaged. Um, and then over here was my peas. Um, they, they're, they're no good. Uh, I'm going to cut them down completely. Just take them all out actually. And the rosemary's fine. Some garlic chives right here. And last but not least on this bed was my celery. And they turned to mush. Yep, mush, mush, mush. And um, I'm just going to till it into the ground. Um, I'm hoping that maybe I can get this little piece. Can y'all see that little, little, little sign of life you got? <laughs> y'all see that little sign of life? I see a little sign of life. Uh, yuck. Yuck. Okay, so I have a little bit of life right here, and uh, not there, but right here, I got a little sign of life. I'm hoping maybe we'll see what happens, but as of right now, this plant is almost like mush too, okay? Um, I'm so happy that 
Uh, some things survived. The giant red mustards back here did not uh, survive uh, back here. Um, yeah, they just gone. Uh, the bed is nice and clean. And I will be topping all of my beds with some compost or some humus and manure. And uh, get these beds ready for our upcoming season. And I'm just happy to show you guys what survived. And I hope you guys um, are preparing for y'all spring garden. I will be giving you guys another video on what I will be planting up very, very soon. Uh, I did put my trellis um, back up and uh, I'm happy about that. I can't wait to go ahead and get some plant babies started on here for the spring, okay? And as well, I kept the plastic up just in case. <laughs> just in case, you guys. If it gets cold again and uh, I have something started or something, I'm just going to drop this plastic. So I, what I did was I took some Dollar Tree clamps right here and I just uh, pinned them to the fence and I just kept it up, okay? All right. Okay, we're at the end of this video. I will be coming back on um, very soon to catch you guys up on some more things. I'm trying to get um, some stuff done. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I do upload a video. And remember you guys, there's beauty in everyone's garden. And bye-bye for now. Oh yes, and before we go, make sure once we clean those gardens, put all those lovely scraps. You guys, put all them lovely scraps into your compost it's gonna make some beautiful fertilizer for you for this upcoming spring okay all right bye bye <laughs>